Shout out to Riley in Denmark, guys. You know the drill. If you want me to teach your favorite Coheed song, leave in the comments, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Happy to do it, guys. Have a lot of fun doing this. The dark sentence, this song makes me wish I didn't sell my Flying V. I had a 1982 Gibson Flying V. I love Gibson guitars. I had an 82 Flying V I bought in high school. First thing I did with my driver's license was go on Craigslist find this guy that had a 1982 flying v and drive from atlantic city to millville new jersey to go buy this 82 v and whole i ended up trading the v for a for a 1990 chevy conversion van and went on tour and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff happened but the the the, the point of the story is unless you absolutely have to don't sell a guitar that you like because you will miss it you will miss it i miss every single guitar that i've ever sold except for the strat i'm not really a strat guy but I've, i missed every single guitar that i've ever sold so hang on to your guitars guys all right the dark sentence what a cool song i saw them play this song live at festival pier in philadelphia taking back sunday was the opening band uh saw them play this live before the album came out and everybody knew every word to the song already. The song that had not even come out yet, everybody in the crowd knew all the words, and Claudio comes out with the flying V, and the whole deal was fantastic. So let's get to it, guys. This one is in B minor. And the beginning of the song, you heard it in the, in the intro, the beginning of this song comes out with this haunting intro. Second fret of the A string. Second fret D. And then the fourth fret. Then we'll go four, two, five. And then it's gonna come up here. Now this this is where the guitars harmonize. The highest part of this harmony is gonna be. So we went fourth fret, second fret, fifth fret on the D. Now we're gonna go fifth fret, fourth fret to the seventh fret. And then we're gonna go a little arpeggio there. Fourth fret D, second fret A, fifth fret of the A string with the pinky finger, and then your middle finger is gonna hold on. Now they're gonna keep droning that G note, the third fret of the E string, while this now we're gonna go like this a lot of alternate picking involved i'm also going to be palm muting they're gonna be palm muting this cuts down on the noise makes this and sounds makes it sound almost percussive uh really cool stuff here so we're gonna go 11th fret of the chi with our ring finger again on palm muting and you got, you're gonna have to alternate pick this. 11G to the ninth fret of the D. Then the open D string. So, back to the ninth fret. And then we'll go 12, 11, and nine on the D. And then it's gonna be 11, nine to the open string on the G. So slowly that's gonna be. Now 
We're gonna come here to the seventh fret of the D string. To the ninth fret. To the seventh fret of the G. And then back down to the sixth fret of the G. So that's seven to nine D. Seven G to six G. To the open string. So we go. Back to the six. And then we're gonna go. A lot, a lot of these runs in this song are going to be in threes. A lot of the things that Coheed does in general are in threes. And it's just, I mean, four is a very predictable number in music. And so threes, whether they're, they're chopping on power chords or they're playing these single note runs, it's very interesting to listen to when you play threes over something that's in four four. So anyways, uh, it's gonna be nine, seven, and six on the G string to nine, seven, five on the D. And then seven, six to the open G. So slowly you're gonna get. And then Travis's solo kicks in. A little B minor pentatonic thing, very soulful, very bluesy. You're gonna play the tenth fret of the B string. When you bend this, when you bend in general, for the most part, make sure you get your three fingers together here. For leverage, if you're too far apart, you don't have the leverage and it's more stress on the wrist. Go back, watch my video, Don't Dent the Marshmallow. I put it out last week. I'll show you how, if you're pressing hard enough to dent the marshmallow, you're wasting energy. Don't waste energy, 10th fret, B string. We're gonna take our pinky finger and put it on the 10th fret of the E. So at the top of the bend, we're gonna hit the 10th fret of the E string. And then you're gonna bring that down. You're gonna bring that bend down. That release, hear that note descend back to its original pitch. Now we'll go seventh fret G. Stay light, it's good for your tone. Seven, nine, and then we'll bend up. And then after we bend, we'll bring it back down and give it a nine, seven, Nine, that's your root note, that ninth fret of the D string, the B note. So you get. And then you're gonna, he's gonna go to the seventh fret of the A string, the E note, just kind of. And then the band, you know, the drums kick in and, and it gets heavy. So there's your, your, your intro, the intro lead part and the intro solo. The chords that go behind the solo are B. And E, B, G, and E power chords is what Claudio is going to play while Travis plays uh, that lead. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm, ass I'm assuming Claudio's not playing that solo. He might be. Sometimes he takes those, but one, one's doing the power chords and one's doing the lead. Uh, so now we get this. So we're going to do this. You're going to have your first finger bar on the seventh fret of the E and the A string. And you're gonna hammer on the ring finger and pinky to 9A and 9D to form the rest of the power chord. So. And I'm strumming down, hammer, and then up, hammer. So it's. You're gonna strum down, hammer, up, down, hammer, up. And then here's the threes again. Again, palm mute this. It will sound heavier. And we're going 10, 9, 7 on the A 
and 10, 9, 7 on the E. So you're gonna get. Now this run is cool and it's very instructive. It's gonna take you through different positions of the B minor pentatonic. You might know this one. But look, that's your root position. This is your fifth position and your fourth position minor pentatonic. Check this out. We're gonna go five to seven, hammer on on the E string. And then pick again. And then five to seven on the A, same thing. Pick, hammer, pick, pick, hammer, pick. Four, five, same thing. It's pick, hammer, pick. Da -da 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 -da. Here are the threes again. So, five to seven, pick, five, hammer, pick on the E, do it on the A string, four to five on the D, and then two to four on the G with your first finger and your ring finger. So. There's that piece, and then it's gonna follow up with something like, like a B minor version of Crazy Train here. Pedal tone licks again. I think I've talked about pedal tone licks in every single one of these Coheed lessons, so I'll, I'll, I'll spare the whole spiel again. But pedal tone is a note that we play in between all the other notes in a riff. Check it out. We're going to play that B note in between F sharp, G, and A. Three times one, two, three. Seven E to nine A, seven E to ten A, seven E to twelve A, and then we'll go. So we're gonna after we've got through the twelve, we're gonna go ten A nine to ten. So after that, we're gonna get. over and over again until the pre-chorus and the chorus hits. When that happens, you're gonna get this. So, we play the run into a D power chord, 10th fret of the E string, and you're gonna slide that D power chord to the seventh fret, so it's gonna be D to B. And I'm strumming, sliding, and giving it an up, down. So it's. And then you're gonna go A to the D to the G. So A, fifth fret of the E string, D on the fifth fret of the A, and then G on the third fret of the E string, all power chords. So you get this. Hard not to feel cool when you're playing power chords. Then, from that G, you're gonna go back to the B chord and give it the, like we're doing in the verse. And, just like in the verse, that 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7 run, but we're going to do it three times, groups of three, three times, in three different places. Also instructive to help us figure out this this diatonic scale. We're in B minor, the key of D major. Check it out. 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7, A and E. Then 12, 10, 9, 12, 10, 9, A and E still. So we have. Then we're gonna play a bit of a stretch here in the D major position here. 14, 12, 10. And then on the E, the same fret. Another great thing about these three scale positions, they're symmetrical. You can play symmetrical shapes much quicker. Obviously, we don't have to change our finger positions. So, make sure when you run that, and then when we run this one, that's gonna go right back into
now it's gonna take us into our chorus. We got this. So you need a measure of G to the B chord to the A to a D and we'll bring it down C sharp. We're gonna leave the ring finger from D down to a C sharp. Bring that D note here to a C sharp and then back to G. And then the well, the, where he says welcome home. Rock that out three times. It's like I'm in Kiss. I live in the shadow of a giant Gene Simmons billboard, by the way. I mean, in, in a building, but still, behind my apartment building, there's just a giant Gene Simmons is coming to Atlantic City billboard that I literally live in the shadow of every day. It's, it's fantastic. Anyway. G-A-B. Guys, there's your verse, your intro, your chorus, the guitar solo, the lead. There's one little thing I'm leaving out. There's another solo that Travis does at the end. It's easy enough to figure out by ear, but if you need help, I will teach it to you for free over Zoom, Skype, FaceTime, whatever you want to do, but there is a catch if you've ever watched an episode of Dog Coffee and Guitars. Other than teaching music, there is one other thing that is very, very near and dear to my heart, and it's helping shelter animals. Guys, make a $10 donation to your local animal shelter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's in Philly, Cleveland, or Kalamazoo somewhere. Local animal shelter, make a $10 donation. Show me that you made the donation, reach out to me, and we'll schedule a time for the lesson, and I will teach you, I'll teach you the rest solo for Dark Sentence or whatever Coheed song or music theory, whatever you want to do. I'm a music teacher by trade. This is what I do. It's my life. I love it. I have fun doing it. Guys, like I said, keep the requests coming, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time.